Empowering Healthy Habits Hey everyone! Welcome back to Empowering Healthy Habits. In today's video, we'll be exploring the different methods of intermittent fasting, helping you choose the best approach for your lifestyle and goals. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, so you don't miss any of our future videos. Let's get started. Intermittent fasting, or IF, is an eating pattern that cycles between periods of eating and fasting. It's not a traditional diet, as it doesn't dictate what foods to eat, but rather when to eat them. Intermittent fasting has gained popularity for its numerous health benefits, including weight loss, improved insulin sensitivity, and enhanced brain health. Today, we'll cover four popular methods of intermittent fasting, the 16 eighths method, the 5 to 2 diet, the eat stop eat method, and the alternate day fasting method. Method 1. The 16 eighths method, also known as the Lean Gains Protocol, involves fasting for 16 hours and eating within an 8-hour window each day. This method is popular because it's relatively easy to follow and can be customized to fit your schedule. To practice the 16 eighths method, choose an 8-hour eating window that suits your lifestyle, such as 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., and fast for the remaining 16 hours. During the fasting period, water, black coffee, and unsweetened tea are allowed, but no caloric intake is permitted. Method 2. The 5 to 2 diet, also known as the fast diet, involves eating normally for 5 days of the week and drastically reducing your calorie intake for the remaining 2 non-consecutive days. On the fasting days, women typically consume around 500 calories, while men consume around 600 calories. This method is popular for its flexibility and the fact that it only requires calorie restriction on two days of the week, making it more manageable for many people. Method 3. The Eat Stop Eat method involves fasting for a full 24-hour period once or twice a week. During the fasting days, you should consume no calories but can drink water, black coffee, or unsweetened tea. On non-fasting days, you can eat normally without any specific restrictions. This method may be more challenging for some people, as it requires a full day of fasting, but it can be an effective way to reduce overall calorie intake and promote weight loss. Method 4. Alternate day fasting involves alternating between days of regular eating and days of fasting or consuming very few calories. On fasting days, you can either consume no calories or restrict your intake to around 500 calories, depending on your preference and tolerance. This method can be challenging for some people, as it requires frequent fasting days, but it may provide more significant health benefits due to the increased frequency of fasting. With so many intermittent fasting methods to choose from, it can be challenging to decide which one is right for you. Here are a few factors to consider when making your decision. Factor 1. Lifestyle and Schedule. Consider your daily routine and commitments when choosing an intermittent fasting method. If you have a regular 9-to-5 job, the 16 eighths method might be easier to incorporate into your daily life, while the 5-to-2 diet or eat-stop-eat method could work better for those with more flexible schedules. Factor 2. Hunger Levels. Think about your personal tolerance for hunger when selecting a fasting method. If you struggle with hunger during longer fasting periods, the 16 eighths method or the 5-to-2 diet may be more suitable, as they involve shorter fasting durations. Factor 3. Goals. Consider your health and weight loss goals when choosing an intermittent fasting method. If you're looking to lose weight quickly or jumpstart a lifestyle change, a more intensive fasting method like alternate day fasting could be beneficial. However, if you're seeking a more sustainable, long-term approach, the 16 eighths method or the 5 to 2 diet might be more appropriate. Factor 4. Adaptability. When choosing a fasting method, it's essential to consider your ability to adapt to new eating patterns. Some people find it easier to adjust to the 16 eighths method, while others may prefer the flexibility of the 5 to 2 diet or the eat stop eat method. Choose a method that you believe will be easiest for you to maintain consistently. Remember, there's no one size fits all approach to intermittent fasting. The best method for you is the one that aligns with your lifestyle, preferences, and goals. Regardless of the method you choose, here are a few tips to help you succeed with intermittent fasting. Tip 1. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water is essential during fasting periods to help curb hunger and maintain energy levels. Tip 2. 
Prioritize sleep. Ensure you're getting enough quality sleep, as lack of sleep can disrupt hunger hormones and make fasting more challenging. Tip 3. Eat nutrient-dense foods. During your eating windows, focus on consuming nutrient-dense, whole foods to provide your body with the necessary fuel and nutrients. Tip 4. Be patient. Intermittent fasting can take time to adjust to, so be patient and allow your body to adapt to this new eating pattern. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to the different methods of intermittent fasting. Remember, it's essential to choose the method that best suits your lifestyle, preferences, and goals. And consult with a healthcare professional before making any significant changes to your diet or exercise routine. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness tips. If you have any questions or experiences to share, feel free to leave a comment below. For more information on intermittent fasting and other health-related topics, be sure to check out our other videos on this channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.